Hey there, this is Tanner Steed. We're out here in Observatory Park painting this beautiful home here. Today we're gonna do a quick tip, top five best tips for painting on location. Tip number one, make sure that your gear is simple enough to all fit in a backpack. There's no reason to bring extra stuff, bulky items that don't allow you to unload and set up quickly. This whole setup fits inside this relatively small backpack. Tip number two, make sure that you have no preconceptions as to what the painting is going to be when you leave for the day and you're setting up to start painting. Sometimes uh, I run into the problem where I'm driving around looking for that perfect painting spot, but really, as soon as you park and you set up your easel, anything could be a painting. So just set up and start drawing. Tip number three, if you are doing a preliminary drawing, don't make it super complicated, but definitely make it at least 80 to 90% accurate, okay? So I got the basic linear perspective and construction of the building set up. I know that it isn't perfect, but it's definitely in the ballpark. If the drawing is off, if it's only maybe 50% correct at this stage, you're really gonna be fighting it and having to resolve many things uh, later on in the painting. And because I wanna work efficiently, this helps me work efficiently. Really my tip is work efficiently. Have a system in place. All right, so tip number four. Make sure at the beginning of the painting you take out your phone and you snap a quick picture. Now, the picture is going to help with the drawing. If you were to take this back home to the studio, well, the color is going to be completely different in the photograph compared to what your painting uh, looks like and how it actually looks from life. But you can use that picture to resolve any fine details. Let's say I wanted to get the intricate details in the roof or the intricate details in a window. Well, that drawing will always stay the same no matter the lighting scenario. I snap a photo at the beginning and I snap a photo at the end of my painting. So I have two information sources to work from back in the studio, but at least I have those two for the drawing. Last tip, my tip number five, when you're painting on location, people are gonna come up and talk with you. So make sure that you have your business cards and maybe even a pamphlet with a mini gallery of your artwork. Someone may walk by and take an interest in one of your paintings that are either on the pamphlet or once those are sold, they can check out your website. So make sure you, that you are ready and you're open to talking with people. This is about the painting, but it's also a way for the artist to connect with the people that are in the environment that you're working in. I always find that you're much more likely to sell a piece of artwork to someone local experiencing the scene with you. Alright, so those are my top five tips for painting on location. I hope you learned something today and I'd love to hear your tips for me. Comment down below and I'd love to hear some useful things that you find uh, that you'd like to share with this community that we're building together uh, down in the comments. So thanks for watching. Let's keep going.